Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with an unusual video. This one, uh, I'm not going to be unpacking a box, but I might show you a box at the end because it's so cute. Um, but I'm going to talk about how you can send shoe boxes and not have to pay the shipping fee. It went up this year for, uh, to $10 and before it was nine dollars so that dollar is really making us feel the extra pinch and i heard it mentioned in a prayer request and that's why i decided to to make this video to encourage you because if you're thinking oh i'm not sure if i really can do shoe boxes this year because uh the shipping has gone up and i can't pay for the shipping this is the video for you so number one i'm going to just share with you what happened to me and what I'm doing to be able to fulfill the shipping requirement. And that is, I started packing shoe boxes on faith and I didn't know, um, this is several years ago and it's continued to snowball. I didn't know how many shoe boxes I would be able to make, but I definitely knew that I was stretching myself just making the shoe boxes and I would need help with shipping. So I prayed about it and I am a real, it's really hard for me to ask for help. I like to be very self-sufficient, but I've had to change that and the Lord's changed that in me to realize that when you ask people for help, it's amazing um, how he then has an opportunity to move. Do you know what I mean? So you can put it out on your social media or to your friends in your small group or your Sunday school class and just tell them what you're doing. Tell, show them the excitement that you have for Operation Christmas Child and your vision and tell them that you really could use help with a couple of things. And if they say, oh, let me know what you need, you can talk to them about the shipping charges. You can also talk to them about other things that you want to include in your shoe box, but you just really don't have the funds. Maybe you did list a couple of things on your Amazon wish list, and you would be surprised at how the Lord can move in people's lives and bring it together um, from this person, this person, all combined, chipping in a little bit can help you pay for the shoebox fee for shipping and maybe even get you some extra things to put in your shoebox. So count on your community. That's my number one idea. Reach out to people, maybe even that you haven't talked to in a long time. Cousins, um, neighbors, that would be a great opportunity to witness to a neighbor that you haven't met yet um, to go over and talk about Operation Christmas Child and see if they want to do some packing parties, something like that. I think networking and community is the number one way you can get your shipping paid for. But number two, that it just really hit me the other day when I realized, wow, um, this is another way that people can really put a nice effort into sending really, really nice things to uh, the Operation Christmas Child effort, but not have to pay for shipping. And that's by making fillers. And when you make, some people um, use their things that are left over at the end of uh, their shoebox packing and they send those for fillers. That's what I usually did. But then the, when I started working at the processing center, the more I realized, well, there's a special need for nice fillers. Um, so maybe I can go the extra mile to make little sets or to purchase items in bulk and send them that are a little bit nicer than I had been sending. And so that's what, I'll, if you look at some of my other videos specifically on fillers, you can get lots and lots of ideas, but I'm gonna show you some things now. This is, I was gonna show you this last, but it's so cute. Um, a lion plush, if you take a lion or a doll or any plush and wrap it up in a blanket, look at what a special gift this is. A lot of um, shoe boxes come to the processing center and they don't have a wow item. So if you have some wow items like this that you're able to get on sale, uh, find a deal for, then you add the special blanket and the ribbon. It really makes a really nice gift and you can feel really um, good about Sending in the fillers, you just put them in a box marked, uh, a cardboard box marked with um, the word fillers, that's all, on several different sides. It's loaded up into the truck with the shoe boxes, and then when it arrives at the processing center, it's opened up, and let me just tell you that the people that are opening up the boxes, 
really once in a while, they get something like this and they're all going, ooh, ah, that is so cute. And they're showing each other. So you really are making an impact, even though you're not sending the whole shoe box. So things like this, if you come across this, my Walmart still has this deal on for 50 cents on jump ropes. So I really should go back there now and buy the rest of the box because these make good fillers. You can put them as sets or you can send them like this depending on how much time you have at the end of your shoe box packing. I really love sending them in sets like this. This one you're gonna have to go back to my other videos that uh, are titled fillers because Michelle sent me a lot of beautiful fillers like this in organza bags. I have a bunch of uh, items that I need to pack up like this, but I don't have the organza bags yet. It's so nice to have um, a set like this arrive because look, at it's not gonna take up that much room in a shoe box and a lot of shoe, box, shoe boxes could fit everything in here. And she has a, a two coloring books and coloring pencils and a tangram set. Go on blessingsinashoebox.com and check this out. It's so fun to make these little sets and it barely takes up any room in a shoe box. Same with the cat's cradle. I just love this. You can get these on in bulk on uh, Amazon and then you can print out the directions on blessingsinashoebox.com. She has this little organza bag with a whistle and a little horse and two balls and a sharpener and this plush. A lot of boxes come and they don't have any plushes. You can be the one that sends so many plush that a lot more shoe boxes get plush. Um, she has also, I think I showed you the, the tic-tac-toe and the jump rope and the coloring book. So just at what you um, can order uh, I, I think I what I did is I bought a lot of things on bulk so I could just start making these sets. So do it any way you want to. You can send, let's say you're really passionate about school supplies because there are a large percentage that come through that don't have school supplies and children can't go to school oftentimes without school supplies. So I'm sending these sets as fillers. I'm gonna rubber band them together. I have, um, uh, all kinds of like colored crayons or coloring pencils, regular pencils. Um, these are multi pens, scissors, ruler, erasers, and sharpener. It's just a really packed pencil pouch, and a child can go to school as a result of getting one of these. And a lot of, I was really, really surprised at the processing center that a lot of shoe boxes don't have school supplies. So take advantage of one of these ideas if you are we're having second thoughts about making shoe boxes and i hope i really hope and pray that the lord will provide for you the shipping through other people um and also that if you just think i this is the year for me to send fillers do it and don't do it with regret do it with joy because you really will be making a difference um, by sending fillers to the processing center so thank you for watching. Go on blessingsinissuebox.com for lots of great ideas. Um, it's really fun to be a part of an organization that is really making a difference in the kingdom of God. Uh, there's The gospel is going forward. Uh, children in the Ukraine this year, again, are planning Operation Christmas Child is going to be getting um, through the shoe boxes through to those children too. This year they went last year so we are making an impact uh, all around the world with our shoe boxes and with our prayers and with everything that we're doing um, for the lord and for the children so thank you for being a part of this group god bless you and bye for now